Tennessee's facilities ranked number 19 in college football. Is that a big deal or no big deal? Please hit that like and subscribe button. Let me ask you that question. Is that a big deal or no big deal? But first, is a little surprising, Caleb? Because if you would have asked me out of left field, I would have said top 12 to 15. But it wouldn't have surprised me if they would have been top six or eight. 19 does surprise me. Yeah, it shocked me too. I think facilities, this is a, facilities are the running backs of college football recruiting now. And here's what I mean where I'm going with that. I think facilities at this point, it's really hard to separate yourself in facilities. So I think the team with the best facilities is not that much different from the team with the 19th best facilities. That was the, that was not the case 20 years ago. Is that fair to say? 20, 30 years ago, the team with the best facilities, there was a massive gap between number one and number 19 or number one and number 10. It's similar to like running backs now in football. The reason I say that is that so there are so many good athletes who can play running back that there's not much separation, which is why they don't have a lot of value in, in on the NFL market because it's not hard to find somebody of their caliber. And I think with facilities, it's a very similar thing. I think all of these top 30 teams that were on this ranking from 247 Sports, I honestly think that it doesn't matter if you're number 30 or number one. Um, I think they're, I think the parity in facilities is such that recruits aren't going to notice that much of a difference between those anymore. No, I, as Cooper May said, if you didn't watch his uh, video, it's there. The Vol Report brought to you by our good friends at CD Heating and Air Conditioning. Integrity matters 50 years in East Tennessee. He said 45-pound weights are 45-pound weights and 25-pound weights are 25-pound weights. There used to be a huge monstrous difference. They're not. So if NIL, we would agree, is the number one draw to come to Tennessee, what's number two? Two, maybe we could turn that into a poll question, but I do want to hear your thoughts on the message board. If NIL is number one, first, do we agree that NIL is number one? No, I actually think there's one letter between the N and the L that you need to change because that's number one still, I think, for athletes, NFL. Okay, well, I was going to – here's here's my argument, though. NIL is mandatory, so it's number one, not just for Tennessee, but everybody. If you say zero dollars, you're not getting in the hunt. Right. Fair enough. Fair okay. enough. So but NIL, I mean, if NIL is comparable, then the NFL makes the difference. Agreed. Agreed. So uh, NIL um, is number one. If you don't have it, you don't have a ticket to the concert, right? So right. after that, what is it? Because it's not facilities because Tennessee's recruited better than 19th in the country. So what is it? It's it's NFL potential, um, which NFL potential go a lot of things here. It's NIL's number one. NFL potential is number two. Now, a lot of people will say it's the system and the ability to win. I think that all factors into NFL potential, doesn't it? Like, yes. if, so it's NFL potential is number two. Number three is still, I still think location is a factor, Dave. I think there are, I mean, Cooper Mays is at Tennessee. Jacob Warren just graduated from Tennessee. I think, let's be honest, you grew up in Knoxville. A lot of Knoxville, Knox County area football players, they want to go to Tennessee and play with all these guys they were playing high school ball against, don't they? Yes, absolutely. So um, I think tra Travis says NIL number one, sorry, putting kids in the league number two, and then Knoxville, the city. Hey, Caleb, you're not from Knoxville. I am. So like when I moved back, I was absolutely in love again. I was like back and, you know, I knew the old back roads. I knew how to take those relaxing drives on country roads, listening to the Almond Brothers um, to uh, to get, get a little less tense. So, but is Knoxville, I think, honestly, it is, is the best SEC town because – Nashville is a bigger, more fun city, you could argue, but it's not SEC centric. It's not any sports centric. It's gotten so big where it's splintered among its fan base. Some like the Titans, some like the Vols. I mean, what? And the Vols aren't the only team in Nashville either. Yeah, the Vols aren't. Like, the, there's, a lot, there's a lot of college teams in Nashville. It's getting very cosmopolitan. You're right. So when, when you look at uh, Tennessee, where does that put where does that put Tennessee in your mind? Okay, so people are going to hate me, but I, I have to be honest, Knoxville's not the best SEC town. Athens is. Athens is beautiful. 
I'm in love with Athens. Um, Athens and Oxford are my top two, but Knoxville's up in the in the upper echelon. Don't get me wrong, but Athens and Oxford are just amazing. Um, yeah, but you, you you're picking one of those two, Ole Miss, that you and I like probably more because we're more adults. I don't know that a 19 year old loves Oxford as that's much probably as true, but they'll love Athens. Athens is amazing. Athens and is pretty cool because you're an hour away from getting into fun in Atlanta or you can do it there, which it's, it's a cool kind of hippie top town. Is that safe yeah, way to seem like a little bit like the hate Ashbury of the South? Um, no, Athens is fair, but you would agree that Knoxville's never it's in the upper hurt echelon. Tennessee. It's never no, hurt. yeah, Knoxville's never hurt Tennessee. The only thing that hurts Tennessee with Knoxville, and this is one of been one of the drawbacks, is a lot of kids don't have cars when they're their first year and the city is, it's it, you, you know, you can't just walk over to the city from campus. You know what I mean? Like you actually have to, you need a mode of transportation to get to the city. It's not in, a, it's not meshed in with the city. And I think that is one of the things that has always hurt Knoxville. You know, you go to Tuscaloosa, you're right there within meshed in the city. Same with Athens. I think that's always kind of hurt Knoxville to, uh, to a certain degree, but the actual city itself, you're right. It's very nice. I mean, you know, you, you go into downtown Knoxville. I mean, it's the architecture is beautiful and it's very from a time it's very historic. And now again, I'm, I am speaking like an adult here, not a 19 year old kid, but I will say that Knoxville is a selling point. The backdrop of Knoxville is beautiful. I mean, you can't ignore how beautiful the mountains are and everything like that. Um, you know, if your teammates do what Fred White and Spencer Riley do or what they do, they took them. Was it bungee jumping was, it, was where they took them or where they yes, take them? I also went bungee jumping. Yeah, you take you, you know you get your couple teammates to take you out to Gatlinburg, and then you fall in love. So I get that. I I I can't say Knoxville, the city, is as much of a selling point though, because for nineteen year old kids, let's be honest, if if they're looking for a selling point, I mean, you know, then all of a sudden you bring up USC or Miami, and in an NIL age, you know, you get a nineteen year old kid down on South Beach, <laughs> and so I mean, it's 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 hard to do, it's hard to beat that. No, that's true. Um, Miami, though, once you see the fact, if if you're smart and you see the fact that they have to travel 45 minutes, their school, their uh, students do to be at a home game, I think you quickly find out that it's not that friendly. Yeah, Coral Gables it... is nicer than South Beach. <laughs> I mean... Well, no, it is. It is. It's not as fun. But it's, it's it's way nicer. Hit that <laughs> like and subscribe button. Do it now. Smoky Mountain Red says, go take them to get an airbrush T-shirt in Pigeon Forge. 